Hi kids, welcome back. Week 13, day five. Super proud of you. Today's highlight verse is Judges 4, 4 through 5. And we will read the, the King James Version first. Judges 4, 4 through 5. And Deborah, a prophetess, the wife of Lapidoth, she judged Israel at that time. And she dwelt under the palm tree of Deborah between Ramah and Bethel in Mount Ephraim. And the children of Israel came up to her for judgment. Judges 4, 4 through 5, the NIRV version. Deborah was a prophet. She was the wife of Lapidoth. She was leading Israel at that time. Under the palm tree of Deborah, she served the people as their judge. That place was between Ramah and Bethel in the hill country of Ephraim. The Israelites went up to her there. They came to her to, to decide cases for them. She settled matters between them. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen. What does all of that mean? Our explain section in our foundations book says, once again, the Israelites forgot about serving God. So as punishment for their disobedience, God let them be conquered and ruled by a mean king for 20 years. Wow. Deborah was another judge for Israel. God used Deborah and other warriors to free the Israelites from the mean king, Jabin of Canaan. It says here, the Israelites continued to forget about serving God. So God allowed the people to be ruled by the king of Canaan. When the people cried out to God, he used Deborah to help free the Israelites from Canaan's king. So you see, God remains faithful again. How do we apply this to our life? God uses people to carry out his plan. His plan is to do what is good for us and bring glory to himself. God can use you to bring glory to himself too. Decode the message with the key on the right. So I'll put it up on the screen for you to decipher what the code is saying. So you'll match up the symbol with the letter and put it down on your book or on a piece of paper if you don't have the book. Wonderful. Now here's mine. All right, let's respond in prayer. Father God, we thank you for using people to bring glory to yourself Please use me to bring glory to you. Thank you. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. Joshua 24, 14, King James Version. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the flood and in Egypt, and serve ye the Lord. Now we'll look at the NIRV version. Joshua 24, 14. So have respect for the Lord. Serve him. Be completely faithful to him. Throw away the gods your people worshipped east of the Euphrates River and in Egypt. Serve the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Let us give him thanks and praise. Amen.